Okay, well, if you take Matthews, you may want to pair him with Mitch Marner on the wing. But 5K cheaper is Kirill Kaprizov of the Wild. He's going to take on a Detroit team that gave up nine goals to Arizona on Tuesday. So, Pete, would you rather have Marner or Kaprizov tonight? Uh, that's tough. I mean, I I like the price point a little better for uh, Kaprizov, but uh, in general, I, I find myself building a mock lineup for tonight that's balanced, which includes a high price player like Matthews. But like, I'm looking at two wings. I'm looking at Alex Tuck, who faces his former team uh, in the Vegas Golden Knights as a member of the Sabers. He's been a little quiet lately, but everybody's going to be flocking to the Eichel storyline, where I feel like Tuck is where you could really get the DFS value. Nine points, 33 shots in 11 home games. Uh, maybe stack them with Tage Thompson if you're in a big contest. I don't think many people will probably be doing that. So, And Tage Thompson, we've seen this year, breaks the slate every couple of games, it seems like. So, yeah, between Alex Tuck and Nick Schmaltz, who I mentioned, uh, has 11 points, 7 plus 4 in his past two games. So in the wing position, I'm kind of shifting my focus away from the higher price guys and going with guys like Tuck and Schmaltz. Paul, what's your strategy on the wing? Well, I really like what what my partner is saying today. But uh, to answer the question another way, I, I think Kaprizov gets a great matchup against a Detroit team that's been absolutely getting crushed, averaging six goals against in their last six games played. And I think they make a lot. That makes a lot of sense over the Marner pick tonight, whether whether I'm committed to Matthews or not. Kirill the Thrill has six goals, 12 help, uh, 12 points, and 32 shots on goal, averaging 14 point plus points per game in DK play. And the Yotes are playing uh, a good brand of hockey that represent a stiffer test against Toronto. So uh, I, I favor the Minnesota winger. And, and cheaper than both of these guys, though, is uh, another high, price, relatively high price winger in Kyle Connor. He profiles similar to the other two fellas. Seven goals and 13 points in his last 10 games. And he gets a jersey club. That's another of the league's weak sisters in terms of defensive record. He costs 7500 bucks tonight.